Okay, traders, it's Friday morning. I like to take Fridays a little easy. The watch list this morning, honestly, is a little thin. Uh, what's really moving right now is Disney on their streaming service coming out in November, which I'm very excited about. Uh, that's going to be starting at $6.99. Of course, I had to go into the PR and read a little about it. That's going to be a really competitive price compared to Hulu and Netflix. I'm really excited about that coming out in November. Uh, this one probably go parabolic out of the gates into a short sale. Going to be avoiding it there on Disney. What I'm looking at is STNG. This is really the only stock this morning that I like. Uh, there's a few gapping up this morning. KTOV, a little bit of a gap up in Pennyland. QD, ALQA, some of these that had a little spike in pre-market. But STNG is similar to all the stocks I've traded recently and that is we are very overextended, overbought on this RSI coming up to an 80. Had two solid green days in a row. Yesterday we uptrended very nicely. If we take a look at the daily chart, this is coming up right up to resistance around all these levels here at around $24. All in this area, that area as well, and then of course over here around $24. Bucks. So I am looking to take a short. If I do trade STNG, it'll be pretty small. I like to end my week on a nice note, not going into the weekend, upset by any means. Uh, so if I trade it, I'll have very defined risk. I'm not going to be risking a lot on it. I did want it to open up into strength, kind of getting over yesterday's high, coming up to $24 so I can risk off of that area. Uh, I really don't want to chase it down. We'll just see how that one opens on up if I'll take a position there. KTOV at CMAC here, I do have shares I can locate. They're .0125 a share. That's why I love CMAG guys. If they're not available, I have a few videos on CMAG promo code. All that's in the description below if you guys are interested and heading over there. Uh, but that's the game plan today, traders. A lot of you ask me, uh, how do I find all these stocks that are overbought, coming up to resistance, uh, and shorting into them? That's through the Bear Scan watch list on the scanners. Going to be a link in the description on that as well. Some of you are already signing up for that, and I'm glad to help you all out. DIS is going to the moon, fellas. Now, this is a parabolic of short sale, but my account is not going to accommodate a position on this stock. Uh, but this one will be fun to watch. All right, traders, we got about 40 seconds till the market opens on up. This is the first day in a while my watch list has been very thin. It's probably going to be a scanner day here. Okay, I took a starter in STNG at 23.87. Put an order out at 23.58. See if I get taken out there. Did not get taken out. Now it's getting a little bounce on it. I am trying my best here, but it's looking heavy under the VWAP. So I'm trusting it. I'm trusting it to fade today. If it doesn't, I will cut, you know, at the break of $24. Break of $24 is where I'll cut. This thing has come down to $23.69. I had the best order there. It didn't take me out. You know, if I do have to cut at $24, I will. And I just took it right there, traders. Uh, very small loss there. Yeah, I tried to take a partial on STNG, just was not getting it. ADNT, this one popped up on the scanners. If this one can pop up near high a day, I will take a position risking off of that. All right, took a position at 20.95. Half my share size that I'm actually going to try and take on it. Okay, added another 75 shares there. Got a total of 150. Ultimately, we want it to stay under that trend line. If it doesn't, that's when I'm out of it. Okay, it just got taken out. 100 shares at 20.91, I believe. Have 50 shares left. Just going to let these fade on out, traders. You know, as long as it stays below that trend line, and we will be good. There we, there we go. Now we're starting to get heavy on ADNT around the VWAP. Keeping a very close eye on that. It's testing the trend line, coming to that VWAP. This is a very critical area right here, traders. And it looks like it has chosen wisely. I just took the rest of the shares there. I don't want to get squeezed out. Look like it was buying up a little bit. Green day today, but a headache of a day. Definitely not worth the stress, uh, but I'll take it. And then uh, the week on a green note. <laughs> and STNG traders. Oh man, does that one make me upset. Don't like it when they fool around on me like this. They're tricking me. Then they get going. You know, I wanted it to do this right out of the gates for me to short into. That way it'd be a lot easier. The backside. 
I really was convicted on this. I, I felt really good about it, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm happy. I respected my stop. I knew I really didn't want it above 24. I didn't want to do all this consolidating and then spike up because at that point, I didn't know exactly what it was going to do. So if it does what I don't think it's going to do, then I don't really want to be a part of it. I was convicted that this would happen, just not through that variation. Well, traders, AD&T, look where that is now, 2025. Sting is 23.58. Kevin, trust your freaking convictions. I just want to slap myself across the face, traders. This is so frustrating. AD&T now coming close to 20 bucks. AD&T, what is going on? So Sting was certainly a sting, but that's going to wrap up my week, guys. Uh, I'm green, but by commissions, you know, hardly anything at all. Uh, just getting the consistency in, getting the experience. Uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm happy I respected my stop, although, you know, that's certainly frustrating in the aftermath to watch because the plan was to scale out and let these fade. So, yeah, this would have been a nice winner here. At the end of the day, I'm happy that I accepted the risk and ended up cutting when the trade started doing what I was not anticipating. Uh, that's going to wrap up the week, traders. Pretty good week, all green this week. Let me know how you guys did in the comment section below, traders. Smack that like button. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, and we will see you guys Monday morning.